Hello, and welcome to our informational video on DiamondCast. DiamondCast is perfect game statistic tracking and game recap software. How does this impact us as officials? First, DiamondCast utilizes the online rosters from the teams and has to use the lineups provided to the plate officials at the plate meeting to get the game lineup for statistics. After making the lineups official, the plate officials shall give the lineups to the DK worker on their field. After the DK worker has successfully imported the lineups into DiamondCast, they will give the lineups back to the plate official. During the game, the plate official shall be responsible for all lineup changes like a normal game. However, they will also be responsible for reporting these changes both to the opposing head coach and to the DiamondCast worker. DiamondCast also keeps game time. So, does this mean officials have to keep game time? The answer is yes. The official should have an on-field timer as a backup. During the pre-game meeting, there will be no coin toss, as Perfect Games DiamondCast system predetermines the home team and the visiting team. Also, with DiamondCast keeping the score, are officials still responsible for keeping a game card? The answer is yes. The official shall still be responsible for keeping a game card, covering the scores, checking in with the scorekeepers in between innings, and getting the game card signed by both coaches at the end of the contest. In recap, here are the differences that officials should be aware of when working a DiamondCast event. Games shall not begin until the diamond cast worker has successfully imported the lineups and is ready to begin the contest. Games cannot begin until the diamond cast worker has successfully imported the lineups. So, officials shall wait and double check with the diamond cast worker to make sure that they are ready before we have the first pitch of the game. Two, there will be no coin flip, as diamond cast predetermines home and visitor. Three, the game card still needs to be carried and maintained with the officiating crew. Four, the crew should still maintain a timer on field as a backup to Diamond Cast. Thank you for watching this quick video regarding Diamond Cast and how it impacts us as officials.